So in the first video, <clears throat> we learned the C major chord and the C major scale. And we played those together. Any way you like. In this one, I want you to now learn the F major and the F major scale and the G major and the G major scale. And then we're also going to learn the A minor scale. So find the F, it's the same as we did with the C, just separated by one white note each. There's the F, or if you like, count up, find one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, there's the F. And the scale, start on the F, two, two, one, we've got a black one there, two, 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 one, back to the F. So it's good to be able to play it up and down, and the G as well, so it's the G chord, same as the F and same as the C. You'll notice this, the pattern repeats as we go through the different chords. They generally use the same pattern. So C, F and G and the G scale. Back to the G. So we've got the F sharp in there on the G and the B flat on the F. Count it out if you need to. Two, two, one, two, 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 one. Remember, speed's not important when you start out. What's important is getting the right ones. And the A minor. So the A minor, remember, it's the relative minor. It's related to the C. And we find it by going down three. One, two, three. Three, there's the A minor, and we're going to count up three and four. One, two, three, so we've got the C, and that's how you can see it's related. One, two, three, four, there's the A minor. Very popular chord, people love playing it. Okay, so we'll start off the same way. Start playing with your C or the C chord and the scale, which is anywhere you like, really, as long as you come back to the C. Then go up to the F. to the C. G. F. Back to the C. down to the A minor. Remember we're three down. Lock your fingers, play the A minor. Back onto the G, we're moving down onto the G from the A to the G. Just lock your fingers and go down to the G. Keep your fingers locked, go to the F. Very low F and back to the C. So there's our round using the one, four, five, or the keynote dominant, subdominant, and the relative minor. Now that pattern we can apply that anywhere you like on the keyboard. That's the most common one. It's all, using all the white notes generally. A couple of blacks thrown in on the F and the G. But that is a very easy little round that you can play. You can do whatever you like with that. So I hope that's helpful for you.